Hey, this is Steve from HitItLonger.com and in today's episode I'm going to show you how this funnel is just like some of the greatest golf swings in history, so stick around. Okay, so I really like this funnel analogy. Um, let me show you why. So, top end of the funnel it's very wide. You know, this is this is kind of a narrow funnel, but I've seen much wider funnels. So think of an even wider funnel than this. Um, this top of the funnel is like the takeaway of a pro's golf swing. So it doesn't have to be right down the middle. It just, you know, the oil in a funnel, if you're pouring, pour, pouring oil through, it just has to go hit the sides and eventually, you know, it's going to come out the hole and go in the engine. So that's a good thing. Um, you just can't, just don't miss, just don't miss this part. So if the top part's like a takeaway, it means you have a lot of leeway. Um, you can still funnel your swing back by impact uh, to have a good result every time. Some examples you might see of this, if you've, um, you've been hearing a lot about Matthew Wolf, he's got a, what you might call a non-orthodox takeaway. Um, Fred Couples also took it on the uh, uh, took it outside the way Matthew Wolf does, not as extreme, but certainly not orthodox. Uh, then you've got the old brigade of golfers um, from the 60s and 70s who pretty much all took it away, way, way, way on the inside. So you have the most extreme cases I can think of are, say, like Raymond Floyd. You know, he took the club way in here and then lifted it up. So, hey, he, he might have got his oil spilled on the very edge here, but you know what? He was able to recover by the time he reached impact down here. Um, Nancy Lopez on the ladies' side, boy, she really took the club back inside. There's a lot of examples from the older day, olden days. Even Bobby Jones um, took the club way back on the inside and kind of rerouted it up after that. So then you have, say, let's say, down to here on the funnel where this is the top of the swing about a third of the way down that's the top of the swing so um, you're starting to need to be in a little better shape than you were on your takeaway but there's a lot of variety that can still work very very well just like you know the oil is still filtered out on a pretty wide and it's gonna get narrower down further so then you go, let's say, two-thirds down the funnel, right about here, and now it's really starting to get narrow. It's not quite as narrow as it is down at the bottom, but here, two-thirds of the way down, this would be like, you know, coming into the slot halfway down right here, where, yeah, you might have a little bit of variety still. Not everybody looks the same in the slot. Some people look a little more inside out, outside in. Some guys are a little shallower. Some guys are a little steeper. Um, you have some some slight differences in really good players at this point even but by the time you get to the bottom of the funnel there's not a lot of room for um, any kind of variety anymore uh, just very very slight amount you still have you know outside in faders like Jack Nicholas Dustin Johnson Brooks Kepka and you've got the inside out drawers like a either a Tom kite somebody like that um, so, but down at the bottom, this is now where you're running into the laws of physics. Um, where at the collision, you, you just can't fool physics. So, impact's got to be really good. And as you go through the impact zone, there's not a lot of leeway anymore. So, what it tells you well, is... a perfect backswing is nice and everything. But we've seen a ton of examples over the years of guys whose oil would be pouring down the sides you know, of the, fi of the filter here because they're nowhere even close to uniform. But they figure out as they come to the top and then into the slot and down at impact, you know, they're able to recover to be consistent enough to make millions of dollars every year. So don't worry so much about nailing the takeaway. Get your impact zone to look really good. Hey, I hope this helped. Um, hope it earned your subscribe and I'd love to have you like this video and leave a comment on below. I 
told a lot of my students about this, but I've never really shared this with the general public. I really like the analogy. I hope you did too. 